Hello, one and all, and welcome back to Campaign 9, Kindred Blood. I am your host, as always, Verinity Void, and this here is part 13. Let's see where we were. I believe, well, again, I'm not gonna, <laughs> I'm not gonna go over what happened in the last part that is uploaded. You can watch it. Uh, but I am gonna go over a couple more national ideas. Let's do, let's do a little bit more of Kraven's interesting national ideas. Since Alecorks was being a little bit victimized last time, we're gonna go over Alecorks, uh, some of Alecorks' stuff. Uh, Lakes of Concord, I think... I think we, uh, we read that one. So let's read 5 and 6, and then I will go on to a different submission, maybe Mondstadt. So, the fifth national idea of Alecorks is Taledari Purshalvina. I have no idea if that is correct. Kravins is going to correct me. A cultural import from our enemies in Takra, by venue of the Blue Shields having fought them in their goddess of death, the Blue-Eyed Lady, the Vershalvina. For Shaugvina, embodiment of the knight and patron of justice. In the years since her worship first came to Gerunsha, she found herself with, it with many f powerful followers. On account of the military's veneration among the aristocracy, chief among, the from chief among them the kings themselves, who have since then done their part in popularizing her worship in our core lands. Syncreti syncreticism between our cult of ta Taledeo or Tale Taledo and that of the Fershaugvina also popped up by pre-existing cultural notions of, of duality is quickly turning the death goddess into an inseparable part of our very own religion in turn placating many of the people under our rule outside of Elkorks proper especially the Takrans the sixth national idea is imported death. The cricket speakers of Sura, obnoxious in everything as they may be, are smart people. They value knowledge, and they put that knowledge into good use. Important to us in this instance are their guns. Far more advanced and, advanced and useful than, any, than the flimsy hand cannons we have ourselves. In co-opting some of their innovations and using them within our own armies, especially our mounted regiments, we can advance military. Uh, we can advance military thought like never before seen, and bring some serious stopping power to our mounted infantry, going a long way in fixing their shortcomings while utilizing their strengths too. Again, I hope I, I know I butchered some pronunciations there, so just whatever. <laughs> I tried. Let's see, Mondstadt. I don't know if we did... Well, I mean, these are short. I can do three of them. Call for adventure. Our people have o our people always longed for nature and don't fear any adversity, be it a storm or a boar. And then the Knights and Church of Favionis. Our knights and our clergy work always work close together. Let's further increase this cooperation. The Rose in the Library. Our librarian, Lisa, is an endless source of knowledge and can easily refer us to the best person for the job. Just pray she doesn't refer us to Klee for artillery. Uh, I don't know who Klee is in Genshin Impact, but I'm sure people will tell me. Anyways, let us move forth and go on with part 13. As we are in the 1700s, and you know what? We're seeing Caradel finally get its ass handed to it by Altai. It took multiple wars. I think this is like the third or fourth war Altai has done against Caradel. But finally, now finally, <laughs> we're getting results. Uh, they've been on the same tech level, but Caradel has just been able to outclass uh, Altai in terms of pure quality and I, I'm not sure why maybe it's just the national ideas they picked and the policies it could be 
Liang is also trying to take over the Korean Peninsula. Relations, current wars. Uh, Japan is also going after Ryukyu, but obviously that's not going to happen. Amerj no, 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 that's straight up the United States. That's not Amerjika. Uh, also, Free Smart is against Japan, and Makwa is going against Katara. Ooh, a little bit of trouble brewing in East Africa. So, they're on the same tech level, but Makwa has a little bit more troops on the ground. They're on the same amount of manpower, roughly. So, the potential for this war to slide in either direction is there. I'm not sure who is going to come out on top. This is for Upemba. Upemba is right here. That's a very lucrative, lucrative province. 19 development and a fortress, but it is clear that Makwa has their military in a far better order than, uh, what's it called? Uh, than Katara. And even the Makwa Navy is besting the, the Navy of Katara. What is really going to matter, though, is if uh, Makwa takes down Upemba. If they get that fort down, they're clean. They're they're clean. They're in the clear. Yemen also took over a lot of Shamastrov, and unfortunately, yeah, Shamastrov is like I said last part, following in the footsteps of Kemet into death. I, I it's just, what do you do against Baghdad? What do you do? Uh, Baghdad is going after Akea. And no one is allied with Achaea, so, you know, Crete is going to get annexed. Simple as that. Samnium, have you moved your capital? You have. So Samnium now lives on in North Africa. Uh, Alvern is going after Mallorca. The Legion, the Lost Legion, is trying to finish off Nupe down here. Peru is also going there, or Wanakama is also going over there. And that's pretty much it for now. This is kind of hard to tell the color. Caribbean Panama versus American Mexico. Oh, and Alvern is over here, making enemies out of America. All right. The Numerids are surviving in the Amazon somehow. I'm not entirely sure why or how, but they're being let... Uh, they're being allowed to survive. Vermont... I, I have never seen Vermont's national ideas. Peasant sailors look wrong with the sea. Service guarantees citizenship. Oh, no, 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 no. This is, uh, what's it called? This is uh, Piscataway's national ideas. My bad, my bad. I forgot, it's Piscataway Kanoi is not a modded submission, so when they form a nation, their national ideas from before carry over. They are not replaced. Free Smart, you got a lot of troops over here. The Baghdadian Samnite Imperialist War. So Baghdad just straight, just straight up wants North Africa. They are not hiding their ambitions in the slightest. Crete has been taken over, and now it's just... It's almost like Baghdad was basically a caliphate at this point. Under Great Sultan Miradin II, Javid. Peasants are rising up in Yemen, but the Yemenese army... Or the, not Yemenese, Yemeni army is gonna take that out. I also need to enable Nagpur to be formed in part 14. Uh, because Kal Kalahandi is coming really close, which completely shocks me. I did not expect Kalahandi to be the the winner out of like the battle royale on the subcontinent. I was thinking like, okay, Sherda has a fair chance. They can bounce back. Sumeru, they got a fair chance as well. The Satraps, also a fair chance. Kalahandi, they started off as tribal, man. Like tribal in the jungle it's it's not easy what are the wars do we got shanara is and sumeru are going after li yue and liang so liang is once again going to be stretched to its limit they are they have 150k on the ground 
and Shu is not in that war. Shu is only in the war against Japan. So... Oh, and Altai, how much did you take? You took quite a bit. So this is a definite, firm, unabashed win for Altai. They have compensated for their losses against Baghdad. Not sure what that letter is supposed to be because EU4's engine doesn't take uh, letters with accents very well, so oftentimes you'll get funky uh, errors like that. I think it's supposed to be like Munster or something like that, or but it's just, you know, <laughs> the last name gets, gets a little messed up. Alvern, you're going after Fez. So Alvern is now trying to consolidate North Africa, where once Aelcorks and Takra held sway. Aelcorks is allied to Songhai, uh, and Zapatoslavia has declared on Aelcorks as, as an imperialist war. Takra is going after Congo, although I'm not sure why they're going after Congo. That's, that's a little odd in my opinion. And Songhai is putting themselves in a terrible position because now they are at war with Alvern, the Flanders realm, and Zapadoslavia. Um, good luck. Eh. Uh, hey, hey, the Flanders realm is a little bit rebellious. A little bit, uh, 52.8%. And, you know, fluctuating, of course, but still. Interesting stuff. Muscovy is allied to Alvern. That's a big alliance. That's a very hefty alliance. So Muscovy could be safe for now. Free Smart is still very powerful, and Alvern would do well to mind their where they where they step diplomatically speaking. Uh, but you know, Free Smart has a huge amount of power. There's just there's no getting around that. Uh, Bremen still holds this land right here of. Oldenburg? They don't hold Bremen. So. Eh. <clears throat> Samnium was... They had a chunk taken out of them by Baghdad. And... Makwa... They're, they're st the, the war is still fairly even. And... Okay. And Mukwa is finally going after Upemba. So once they get Upemba down, the war should be firmly won, despite the fact that they are fairly even on military potential. Liang has peaced out with Japan, and Liang controls most of the Korean Peninsula. Japan still holds a little bit, but, I mean, it's not much. And also, Liang has a little bit of Hokkaido. So Japan could be in serious trouble in the future. This could be in serious trouble. Socotra is still alive, but they are a tributary of Shanara. Katara has annexed half of Madagascar, and they are duking it out with Makwa there. Takara is actually down here, but so is the Congolese. Yeah, Congo wants to keep South Africa for themselves for good reason. And Alecorks. Is Zapadoslavia gonna be able to get at your co get at your core, get at your heart? We'll see. Any other wars? I'm gonna take a sip of my water while I glance over this. Well, actually, uh, Amerika for turn Mexico is going after five eight three seven turn Cascadia. Uh, the papacy is also going after Yayoi for some reason, and. Oh, Songhai was allied with Fez. That's why they're at war with Alvern. Okay. Oh, and Baghdad is going after Altai. Oh, no. Oh, Baghdad. Why do you have to kick them while they're down? Well, I mean, not while they're down. Why do you, why do you have to kick down their sandcastle when they just finished their sandcastle? That, there you go. That's, that's what I was going for. Always gotta stay hydrated, folks. Always gotta stay hydrated. Uh, let's see. Is Sumeru actually going in? Sumeru's not going in. Well, 
They're like cr crisscrossing throughout Great Shu. And Shinada seems to be slowly sending forces, but I'm not entirely sure. This is tiring out Liang, though, which is prepping Great Shu for success, maybe. You know I gotta look out for my child. What kind of parent would I be if I, be if I did not look out for my... Basically, my only remaining child, you know, because uh, Seattle's dead. Kemet is dead. Uh, the Numerids, life support. Um... I don't even remember what was my f uh, fifth fifth submission. Oh yeah, the satraps are dead too. Jesus Christ. Four out of the five are basically dead. Mogadishu has this land occupied by Socotra. Mogadishu, where is your troops at? They're all on the island. Okay. Uh, Yayoi still has this island to themselves. Uh, they, they still have my, the dynasty though. <laughs> Oh, excuse me. Of all the things Yayoi has kept so far, they they have kept the dynasty. <laughs> uh, Shu is not in this war. Because it looked like they were. They were down here for some reason. I'm not sure why. Uh, other than, like, obviously the armies hired out. But, uh, yeah. Liang is actually, like, doing, is making moves. Shinada doesn't want to just just wants to chill in the jungle or not uh, the savannah. There we go. They want to chill in the savannah. Songhai is getting absolutely thrashed. This is looking brutal. Vinland is going after Bremen in an imperialist war because Vinland wants more of that northern coast. Uh, Wanakama is going after the Lost Legion again. Honestly, though, like the Lost Legion, there's, there's, there's nothing they can do at this point. They have firmly lost control of South America, and it's the same thing with uh, Cascadia. They have firmly lost control up here. When, when the Mexican, the Sunni Mexicans are coming at you with over two hundred thousand troops, there's, there's just no, there's no hope, and they're not even taking that much attrition, you know. One of the national ideas here was maximum hostile attrition plus three. Like, come on. You're, you're, it's just, it's just, it's not, it's not bleeding them out. It's not bleeding out the Mexicans. It's, it's that simple. But Wanakama, they are here to stay. Songhai lost their wars, of course. And now they are firmly relegated to south of the Sahara. And they are no longer allied with Alecorks. Takra is being absolute... What is this? Mondstadt's going after Oldenburg. Okay, so that's with Bremen. Takra is in that war as well. As well as Danzig. <laughs> Takra, your allies are terrible. <laughs> Oh, man. I just get reminded of what... I think it was Loon submitted by Monsert in uh, one of the previous campaigns where Loon was doing all right, but they were continuously, and I mean continuously, war after war, they kept siding with their allies when their allies were dead meat, dead in the water. And because they were dead in the water, Loon could not save them, and so Loon progressively got worse and worse. It's looking like what Takra is doing right now. They were, they're allied with Bremen, they're sticking with Bremen to the end, and they're becoming worse and worse. I appreciate that they are faithful allies, but sometimes being a faithful ally is going to get you killed. The Etruscan League is back and they are Catholic. That is unfortunate because they are turning back on their roots. But rest assured, the Etruscan League is going to die soon enough. They're gonna like free smarter someone. The papacy, they're gonna go. They're gonna go after uh, the Etruscan League. Count on it. Free smart is going after Sumeru. That's bold. Sumeru and Kalahani. Yeah, that's bold. Free smart. Can you really take on the the one of the two dominant powers in India? 
I have my doubts. I'm not. I don't think Shinada really won that war in in Southeast Asia. So I will give credit where credit is due. Liang held their ground. Uh, Liang is now. Oh no, Great Shu is going after Karadel. And this, if this colony finishes, they'll Shu will be able to take land in Karadel. Germanic separatists in Alvern, Al Alvernese Anatolia. Baghdad is going after Alecorx's land in Anatolia, but Baghdad is going to have to reach all the way to Iberia to get the capital. And Mondstadt is going to seemingly, seemingly annex Oldenburg, the last holdout of Bremen in mainland Europe. But then what's going to happen to Nova Germ- oh no, no. Bremen still has land over here, so the capital of Bremen is going to move to like right here. And Nova Germania is still going to be a subject of Bremen. You know, Cascadia is trying to be a thorn in the side of Mexico, but it's just... It's not going to work. At least I don't think it's going to work. Unless Mexico really fumbles this war and doesn't manage their troops effectively. But I think this... Oh, there it is. There's the, there's the end of the war. And there is the end of Cascadia, more or less. They are absolutely not doing well. We started 1718, going... We can go to, like, 1730? 1731? Wait, wait, what? No, no, no. 1740. 1741. Like it's only like twenty. The recording's only out twenty-two minutes. We can we can surely go longer. I'm not in a rush or anything. Free smart Akadia and Terra Austral. Yeah, I don't think Kalahandi and Sumeru are gonna be in any trouble whatsoever. Great Shu won against Karadel, and now they're at war with Altai. I I, I feel sorry for Altai. I I kind of do because. It took them so long to best Cotadel, to get the upper hand, and finally win a war against Cotadel. And af right after they succeed, after being beaten and battered by Baghdad, Shu and Liang come in like, What's up? I saw some nice land you got there. Would be a shame if uh, it was taken from you. <laughs> oh, man. There is no mercy in these AI-only campaigns. Well, most of the time there's not mercy. Sometimes there, sir, there is mercy, which is surprising, but... The Mondstadter Holy War against Vermont? What? Hold up. Hold up. Can I, can I just... What, why do you want Vermont, of all things? Oh, so... I see, I see, okay. Um, from the war with Bremen, Mondstadt took more than just Oldenburg. They took land in the New World. And because of that, Mondstadt now wants land in the New World. And some of that has to come from Vermont. Or Piscataway, Canoy, turn Vermont. So, with that being said, it's Vermont and the powerful navy of Cu well, not what, never mind, not powerful navy. That's twenty-four ships versus Fontaine's ninety-one. What are you doing, Cuba? But uh, yeah, Vermont has a they have a, they have plenty of troops, plenty of navy. Free Smart is going to they're gonna have a one fuck of a time trying to invade Vermont. And then Acadia, like, technically they're in the war, but they're also very rebellious, so they don't want to do shit. And then Takra, you're at war with Vinland because you're defending Bremen. Takra, your alliances, they're dragging you down. Ay vey. And then Altai over here is... Is it... Great Shoe and Altai... Yep. 
What what do you what does Shu really want? What is is that a gold mine? No no, it's not even a gold mine. What the hell? Actually, that does give that does, I I am I am curious. That's that's honey. Where's the gold? Let me pause real quick. Where is the gold in the world? Are you really that greedy that you're going to search for gold in the world? Yes, I am that greedy. Really? There's nothing in the steppe. Okay. So there's East Africa, South America, Central America, even some on the West Coast. Wow. Oh, shit. Maybe if this was... If there was really gold over here, maybe fucking ocean shores would be more popular. Anyways... Back to the wars and back to the political changes. Okay, so Altai wasn't c carved up horrend. Never mind. I just realized they did lose what once was land of the Ukrainians. Liang took a whole bunch over here, including this fur clothing uh, this fur clothing province. Fur is generally thought to have been among the first materials used for clothing and bodily decoration. Fur is worn in most mild and cool climates around the world due to its warmth and durability. So Liang is growing and so is Shu. But Shu is not uh, exercising its army to exhaustion as Liang is. What are the... Oh, see? Free Smart lost that war against Kalahandi. The Free Smart didn't land any fucking troops. So Kalahandi has even more hegemony over North India. There's so much. Alright, let's see these wars. Alvern is going after... Still consolidating control over North Africa. Alecorks has almost been complete, completely kicked out. Takra has been completely kicked out of North Africa. Uh, Zapato Slavia and Free Smart are taking out Insubres, and there's no one else in that war, so it's just Insubres. Ava is trying to take out Yayoi. Free Smart is going after uh, 5837. Makwa is once again going after Katara. Amerzika turned Mexico is going after Kabila. Really? Unless Kabila took land over here. Oh, yeah, they did. They had landed South America, right. And then Mondstadt and the Papacy think that Vermont is good land to take over. Also, for some reason, Shinada is, thinks that they should take over Japanese land. But it's an imperialist war, so you're not going to get any war scores, Shinada. Even though you occupy these lands. That's taking war score in the favor of Japan. Yeah, in, I think this is the, like, final stand of Insubres. I don't think that they're going to survive. Actually, is Mondstadt in this? No. So they might survive with that one province. I don't think there's unlimited coring distance. I could be wrong, but I think. And Alvern is still... Still placing themselves in... Annoying places for Mexico. God damn. Even Papal uh, Venezuela is just... They're feeling they're feeling the, the, the tensions as well. Man, the Lost Legion. Look how much they've lost. They were doing so well, but they just couldn't bring up their armies when they needed to against Wanakama. And unfortunately, it's just, they're out of luck. And you know who else is out of luck? It's Kitara, as Makwa is, they're just sweeping the board. Kitara cannot do anything against uh, Makwa at this point, because Makwa has an army double the size of Kitara's army. At Baghdad, you need, you need to go after Alecorx's capital. If you go after the capital, you win. Alvern just annexed Jolof, and seriously, like their control over the Maghreb is almost complete. They can take out Samnium next, along with Imansorks, and then it's just like, what? What, what do they do after that? The Flandersrom has its independence supported by four people. The Livonian Order, Vinland, Samnium, and Team No Name. 
strangely enough, not free smart, but like those four, they're weak, but they push that independent, that liberty desire to 100%. So the Flandreshraum realistically might declare for independence. I'm not sure if they'll win. They lost their last uh, shot at independence, but you know, maybe. I am curious what's going to happen if Mondstadt and Freesmart go to war. Well, that would be interesting. And yeah. It appears as though Freesmart is going to annex 5837. At least a little bit of 5837. The third West Slavic Samnite Imperialist War. Zapadoslavia. I'm pretty sure they can get over to Samnium. I would be surprised if they couldn't. Shadows allied to Makwa, Kalahandi, and Ava. And what do we have here? Shinara, Great Shu Shinara Imperialist War. Ooh. Oh, Great Shu is attacking Shinara. And Liang has been brought in. All right. So, Shinara was going after Li Yue initially, and Liang was defending them. And then Great Shu declared on Shinara when they were busy and brought in Ava. Shinara is getting just... <laughs> they have a coalition against them, almost. Um, so, and it also looks like Shinara did take this land from, uh, from Japan in the Philippines. So Japan has pretty much been almost completely, almost, not, not entirely, almost, been completely sent back to their mainland. And it seems like with that, with that war, Shinada just exhausted their military. Their navy is still top notch. Not doubting that. They have over a hundred ships. But their land military, like, what do they do? Granted, Shu declared an imperialist war, and you're not getting to Borneo. There is no way you're getting past, getting past the fleet, all the way to Pon Pontianak. You you just not getting there. It, it's that simple. Ava is actually <laughs> that, 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 that that was a petty attempt. Twenty something ships against over eighty ships, and Shinada has a three star admiral. Yeah. <laughs> Good luck. What else do we got? Baghdad is going after Samnium. Some more consolidation in North Africa. Uh, Makwa is finishing off, or still trying to finish off, Katara. Although it should be noted, Katara has land in Madagascar. So it's a little bit of, an, of a side thing they're going to need to deal with. Mondstadt, did you sign peace? You did sign peace with Vermont and you ceded some land over here because... You were an idiot. It's as simple as that. Alvern is trying to subjugate Germion again. Just, 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 just make them a vassal. And Papal in Subrian Imperialist War. So I think this should more or less be the end. Right? At this point, I have no idea. I feel like Team No Name is still going to survive. And I feel like Insubres is going to survive. Huh? No, they fly. Okay, that was it. Um, Monster, why are you at war? You're allied with Alvern. Okay. Oh, the papacy was allied with Germion for some fucking reason. So the flaunt, yeah. What? I'm not sure. Whoa. <laughs> yeah. Pope Paulus III is uh, questionable in his decisions, just to say the least. Uh, back to Shinara, they're like, apparently even though they had a gr they have a great navy, they're not blocking the straits, and because of that, uh, Shu, Ava, and Liang are just spreading across Sumatra, and soon enough, maybe even Java. You're leaking troops all over the islands when you don't have to. Your navy is completely dominant. What is this? 
Oh yeah, Yoli must have been a. Oh yeah, yeah, Yoli was a tributary of someone in the last part. I can't remember who, um, but they are no longer a tributary, so they are no longer purple. They are white. And with the occupation of Siak, now the straits are completely open. Shinada can't do anything. Sumatra is forfeit. It's just how it goes. Zapatoslavia is indeed down here in Samnium alongside Baghdad. And Iman Sorks, yeah, this is the third west. Okay. Were they allied with Samnium? They might have been. Uh, and then Ale Corks is also going after Iman Sorks. So I'm guessing Ale Corks is probably going to annex that land? Or at least some of it. The Flanders Realm. Yeah, they still got Liberty Desire. <laughs> oh, Shinada. If only you were able to keep your your keep your possessions consolidated. Or at least your navy in good enough order. You sure, you mean you got some military at the delta of the Mekong River. It's not it's not gonna do much. Japan is still allied with Su. They are no longer of the dynasty of Raiden. They have the Yamato dynasty. Uh, Liang. Meng, Sima. I think also the dynasty of Shinada changed. They are now under of the Bernai dynasty. Also, Socotra actually won some land in Southeast Asia. Good on you, Pirate Confederacy of Socotra. Zapatoslavia peaced out with Iman Sorks and Samnium. Team No Name, are you are you on your deathbed? They are on their deathbed. Unless the new did the, did the new marriage join in? They did. So I guess you gotta sail to the new world and conquer them, Alvern. Songhai, who are you allied with? Okay, only the new mates. As long as you're not in the way of Alvern and Baghdad, you're probably fine. Probably. I didn't even. When did, Shama, when did Shamasroth die? 1735. July 12th of 1735. Shamasroth, you will forever be remembered alongside Kemet. Two graves next to each other. Uh, Li Yue also doesn't have any liberty desire. They're fine with being a tributary of Liang. And even though Shinara was trying to unoccupy the Mekong River Delta, it's just not... It wasn't in the cards. Li Yue and Liang were there to call or stop any... any return of Shinaran troops. Also, Great Shu is actually going after the Philippines. Yes, you heard some stuff in the background. I'm sorry, someone was leaving the building. Uh, Ternate also got released by Li Yue. So, oh, and also Bhutan. Interesting. So, anything else? No, just uh, Li, or not, uh, um, Ternate and Bhutan. And Shu, great Shu, I'm wondering what you're going to take. What land do you want? I guess we'll find out. Oh dear, Ava is... Kalahandian Delian Imperialist War. Delhi, who did you have allied? You had Ava, so... Kalahandi and Sumeru are springing into action. Yeah, it's brutal stuff. Ava is dead. And with that, Shu takes its steps into Southeast Asia some more. And Shinada kind of, you know, they're losing control of Sumatra, if I'm honest. Like, it's... I mean, look. They don't even control most of Sumatra anymore. Their navy may be strong, but it's just not enough. And dare I say it, it's time? No, it's not. I thought it was the Independence War. Um, the Livonian Order is going after Muscovy, and so... 
Papal St Livonian Order, Papal State, uh, uh, the, the Papal Venezuela, Free Smart, which is huge, and Mondstadt. Oh boy. Alvern, you may have tangoed with the wrong crowd. Uh, <laughs> yeah, it's one thing to go against Free Smart. It's another to go against Free Smart and Mondstadt. That's 600,000 coming right at you. <laughs> Holy shit. I, uh, yeah, I think it, Alvern might be uh, a little overstretched by this war, you know? You know, a little, little too much across Europe. Uh, I think we'll go to August of 1741. Because <laughs> I'm curious how quickly Alvern is going to peace out of this war. I know they don't want any part of this. This is such a bad war to, de to defend. Because Muscovy, like, it's Muscovy. It sucks, but they're, they're dead. The Livonian Order and Free Smart are going to partition them. What other wars do we got? Elkorks is still going after Imeansorks. America and Free Smart are going after Nova Germania. Baghdad and I Free Smart are going after Elkorks. Yayo, Ashera is going after Yayoi, Kalahandi, and Sumeru, Delhi, and Ava. Liang after Japan. Everyone in, everyone in Europe against Muscovy, Alvern, the Flanders realm. And Makwa is going after Mogadishu. Mo, uh, Makwa is definitely the premier power in uh, East Africa at this point. Although, if they go against Yemen, I'm not sure who wins in a one-on-one. -on -one. Right now, it's Yemen because their military is prepared and Makwa is exhausted. But in the future, once Makwa's military recovers, I'm not sure who wins in that war. And yeah. Mo <laughs> Mondstadt and Free Smart, when, when these forces combine, it's just death. Even Zapatoslavia, like, they, they, they wouldn't stand a chance if Free Smart and Mondstadt united together against them. <sighs> Does Alvern even have an army at this point? The Flanders Rome is keeping to themselves. Like, they, they don't want any part of this war, really. But they will defend their land, obviously, if, uh, if and when they need to. Samnium. Did you go bankrupt? Because you have... Okay, no. You just changed religion. They are now Ibadi. <laughs> Under Serene do Gianfranco di Castie Castello. Castello? Castello. Oh my god. This is just... This is terrible news for Alvern. They're gonna lose. They're definitely gonna lose land. I don't know how much, but curious. Oh shit! This is 1741. All right. What do we? What do we say? Like March of 1742. I'm just too concerned with this war. Like, what the peace deal is gonna be like? Oh, yep. The Flanders realm is now getting invaded by the Livonian Order, and soon enough, Free Smart. It's gonna happen. Alvern, just peace out. Try to give them what they want. Oh, shit. And Delhi is pretty much dead. Kalahandi is the premier North Indian power. Alright, April 1st of 1742. We'll pause it there. Uh, this recording has gone on for long enough. And Jesus Christ. From the highest of highs with Alvern to uh, being dashed against a rock at this point, just I don't think they foresaw both Free Smart and Mondstadt coming to the aid of the Livonian Order against Muscovy. <laughs> That's something that I don't think they just they don't they accounted for. But it's just how the cookie crumbles, I guess. 
and it should also be noted, Akadia is still... Uh, Akadia still has their independence supported by Mondstadt. So we could get a Canada formed any day now, should they declare for independence and Mondstadt help them out. But, yeah. Interesting and fun stuff, as always, in these AI-only campaigns. For now, though, I think we should look at the leaderboard. Let's take a look here. In first place, we have Freesmart. In second place, we have Alvern. In third place, we have Monstadt. In fifth place, we have Zapatoslavia. In sixth place, we have Mexico. In seventh place, we have Peru. In eighth place, we have Liang. In ninth place, we have Kalahandi. In tenth place, we have Vermont. In eleventh place, we have Great Shu. And in twelfth place, we have the Livonian Order. That'll do it for this part. Thank you all so much for watching. I will see you all in part 14.